Hi dear students, this is BS Academy Grade 10 Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss the properties of the plane mirror. So for this, you imagine the plane mirror is placed over here. We know already plane mirror consists of two surfaces. One of the surface will be polished and other surface is faded. So this is the faded part of the plane mirror and this is the polished surface. So always object should be placed in front of the polished surface, right? So see imagine one, uh, imagine a person is standing in front of the plane mirror. So this person can able to see the image through the plane mirror. So the image of this person is formed over here that is behind the mirror. So this is a person standing in front of the mirror. This is the image of this person. So the image is formed behind the mirror. In case of plane mirror, the image is formed behind the mirror. Okay. Now see, this is the position of the person who is standing in front of the mirror. So from the position of the object, so you consider this as a object. This as the image. So the distance between the object and the mirror is called as object distance the distance between the object and the mirror is called as object distance okay this is object distance so now image is formed behind the mirror no so we can able to measure the image distance also so what is image distance now the distance between the position of the image the distance between the position of the image and the mirror is called as the image distance so this is image distance okay children right now for example see if this person is standing somewhat uh, 25 centimeter in front of the mirror for example if this is the 25 centimeter so therefore the image will also be formed at the 25 centimeter distance from the mirror but at the back side of the mirror that is behind the mirror so it means what students the object distance will be always equals to the image distance in case of the plane mirror. Okay, note down this point. In case of the plane mirror, the object distance is equals to the image distance. Okay, right. At the same way, at the same time, see, note down that if the height of this person, if the height of this person is about some 25 centimeter or for example, 60 centimeter okay for example if the height of this object is of 60 centimeter then the image height will also be equals to 60 centimeter okay so it means what the size of the object is equals to the size of the image okay this is the second point you have to note down clear children see the height of the object is equals to the height of the image okay same way the object distance is equals to the image distance okay now see the next point we are we can able to see the image through the mirror okay so image is formed behind the mirror so for example if you place any screen over here in front of the mirror if you place any screen if you place the screen can we able to see this image? Can we able to project, project this image on the screen? So can we able to project this image on the screen? Means no. We cannot able to project the image. So it means what the, the this image which is formed over here. It will not be obtained on the screen. So that image which cannot be obtained on the screen is called as the virtual image. It is called as virtual image image so it means what in case of plane mirror the nature of the image formed over here is a virtual image okay it is a virtual image and also it is erect erect means what if the if the object is placed like this right the image will also be produced like this it means it will not be inverted the image is not inverted top to bottom. So if it is not inverted top to bottom, then it is called as erect image. Okay. So we can say in case of plane mirror, the nature of the image is virtual and erect. 
it is virtual it means it cannot be obtained on the screen at the same time it is the erect image okay it is an erect image it will not be inverted okay but lateral inversion will take place in case of plane mirror so what do you mean by lateral inversion it means i told you, you know if you raise the left hand in mirror it seems to be right hand is raised same way if you raise the right hand in front of the mirror in image the left hand is left hand will be raised so it means what right seems to be left and left seems to be right so that type of inversion is called as what a lateral inversion that type of inversion is called as lateral inversion okay children right so we sort out all these points over here see i have listed out the properties of the plane mirror see let us see one by one see the first point is image formed by the plane mirror is always virtual and erect image formed by a plane mirror is always virtual and erect i told you, you know virtual means what it cannot be obtained on the screen erect means what it is not inverted top to bottom okay so this will be the nature of the image formed by this plane mirror see the next point the size of the image is equal to the size of the object right so if the size of the image is of is of 60 centimeter then object size will also be equal to 60 centimeter right so that is the second point the size of the image is equal to that of the object see the third point the image formed is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of it it means what this is what i told you the image distance will be equals to the object distance right so you can write this point like this also the image distance the image distance if you feel this point is somewhat tough then you can write simply like this also the image distance is equals to the object distance so you can simplify this point like this see the meaning is same only the image formed is as far behind the mirror as the object is front of it okay it means what the image distance is equal to the object distance okay see the last point the image is laterally inverted right it means what the image is not inverted top to bottom but it is inverted laterally laterally means what the left hand side will seems to be right hand side okay so it will be inverted like this right left seems to be right and right seems to be left okay so this is what called a laterally inverted lateral inversion so what type of inversion takes place in case of plane mirror lateral inversion is taking place okay so these four points comes under the properties of the plane mirror so you have to be thorough with this topic this is also one of the most important topic under this lesson okay clear about this students see properties of plane mirror okay first point image formed by a plane mirror is always virtual and erect and second point the size of the image is equal to the size of the object third point the image formed is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of it if you feel tough about this point then you can write the point like this the image distance is equal to the object distance and the last point the image is laterally inverted clear about this topic students is it clear yes children thank you see you in the next video